Lewis structure of hydrogen chloride, HCl. Hydrogen is a non-metal, even though it comes from the left side of the periodic table, it's a non-metal. And so is chlorine. Chlorine comes from the right-hand side of the staircase, so it's obviously a non-metal. When two non-metals get together, they form what's called a covalent bond, which is when they share electrons. There's no transfer from one to another. Let's draw the Lewis dot diagrams for each atom separately. Hydrogen is in column one, so it brings one valence electron with it. There's the one dot. Chlorine is in group 17. All of these atoms bring seven valence electrons. Get it? 17, seven valence electrons. Cl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Now, hydrogen is happy with two valence electrons. That's something you're gonna have to memorize. It's called the doublet rule, but uh, only like two atoms ever follow that. Um, chlorine follows the octet rule, which means it needs a full eight to be stable. So wouldn't it be nice if the chlorine could share its electron with hydrogen? That way hydrogen has two. And the hydrogen shares its electron with chlorine. That way chlorine has eight. That is what happens. These unpaired electrons pair together just like these guys had been paired. And you end up with a hydrogen and a chlorine sharing each of those electrons. One of them came from chlorine, one of them came from hydrogen. Chlorine still has these extra six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So chlorine has eight around it now, that makes it stable. Hydrogen has two around it, that makes it stable. And by convention, we usually draw bonding pairs of electrons as single lines. See? Two in between that are shared. Bam! Shared. We're going to draw in the non-bonding pairs here, and we have the Lewis structure of HCl. Not too difficult, but you have to know how they share. They're both non-metals, so it's a covalent bond. Best of luck.